Hello and welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. This week's postpartum workout is an after C-section workout. It's actually the second video in a series of videos that I'm doing for after C-section workouts. So I will link to the first one there if you haven't seen that yet, or I'll also link in the description box below. This one will be a similar style, but all new moves. We wanna keep our core safe by keeping our core engaged. We're gonna keep our ribs in to make sure that our ribs aren't splaying out. Of course, make sure that you get clearance first, usually about six to eight weeks after your C-section. And listen to your body, modify if you need to. You shouldn't feel any pain or discomfort or pulling at your incision site. I will keep making it postpartum workouts every week. If you like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. You don't need any equipment for this workout except for a mat or a comfortable floor to get down on and some water to keep hydrated. We we We're going to start on all fours. You can mirror me and turn to your left side, finding a position here with your shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. Let's engage our core, pulling our lower belly in. If you bring your hand up, you should be able to feel it tight on the inside of your bony hip protrusion and we'll warm up our spine with some cat and cow. So exhale, rounding out, inhale, lengthening your spine, looking up, exhale, engage, inhale, look up. You can move with your own breath here. Trying to make every movement here work for our core, strengthening. Last one here. Let's come back to a neutral spine. We move into dog bird. Re-engaging your core if you let it go so it's nice and strong and lifting opposite arm and leg. We bring it back down. Exhaling, engaging as you lift. Inhale, down. Feeling resistance as you move, as if something was pushing down on your arm and your leg. Last one, good. We're gonna make a rainbow shape with our leg. We can extend one leg and then bring it out. And we're gonna lift it up using all our glutes. Core is engaged and making a rainbow to the other side and back and forth. So our last one. Good. Bringing it back in. We can switch to the other side.
last one good extend bring it back in you can sit back and stretch quickly through our glutes switching sides Coming back to all fours, we're gonna do a push-up modification where we lower our elbows down towards the floor, shift our weight forward, and then push up. Almost visualize yourself going in a bit of a circle, down, forward, up. Lower belly pulling in. Can't help myself. Elbows keeping tight in towards the ribs as you bend them. One last one. Good. We can come up safely to a standing position. Exhale, engage your core, stepping up. For the next section, I'm gonna set the timer for a minute. We're gonna do 30 seconds of one exercise, 30 seconds of another exercise with a 15 second break. We're gonna start with lateral lunges, and then for the next 30 seconds, we'll do curtsy lunges. So setting up and lateral lunge. Engaging your core. For modified, you don't have to go as deep. Or for more challenging, really shoot your hips back, keeping your chest up. Last one here, let's switch to curtsy lunge. You can keep your hands on your hips, feel your core engaged. Next, we're gonna move into lunge pulses. So we're gonna pulse three times, exhale, engage our core, and sweep our knee up. We'll stay on one side and then switch sides. Good, let's switch to the other side. We're gonna do some modified jumping jacks here. The more you move, the more cardio it will be, and then we'll switch to hamstring curls. Setting up. Good, and pulling back, engaging your core, hamstring curl.
for the next one we're going to step forward and squat step back and squat and then for the last 30 seconds we'll do some squat pulses and go try alternating your foot Let's get into a, a squat and pulse here. Core is engaged. Release, shake it out. Let's take a quick water break here. You can turn it to your left again to mirror me. Let's safely get down onto all fours. Using your right leg, we're going to do fire hydrant circles. And so instead of just like lifting straight, we're going to make a circle, extend, come back down. Getting all the different parts of the glute muscles. Pulling your lower belly in. We're gonna keep it extended now. From here, we're gonna cross our knee over and extend again. Pulling in your lower belly. Squeezing your inner thighs as you cross over. Last one. Good. Now let's bend our top knee. We'll pulse here, keeping your hips even, not letting one drop down towards the mat. A few more pulses here. Good, release down. Let's turn over on our side so you can put your back foot towards the wall. We'll bring our elbow down, opening up towards the front. You can place your hands on your hips. We'll lift here. For a modification, you can also lay on your side. You can reach and feel your tummy being tight here. Last one, release down. Let's turn to the other side. So now you're turning to your right. We need to do the same thing, starting on our left leg. We'll do our fire hydrant circles, engaging your core up and around, extend, back down.
beautiful last one keep it extended now we will squeeze our inner thighs cross your knees extend moving with resistance using your core for all movements Feel it in your glute, on your leg that's on the ground as well. Last one. Extend, good. Bending your top knee. Pulse here. more pulses good releasing down now we'll twist and open to the side you can either come on to your side or just open up to the front and lifting your leg here Last one, good. Let's release down on our side and more carefully roll over onto our back. Bringing your heels in so you can touch them. Shoulders are rolled underneath your back. Let's bring our hands to our lower belly so we can feel it when we're engaging. We can engage and exhale, and we'll do a pelvic tilt, and then tilt in the other way. Posterior pelvic tilt, interior. Really feeling your lower belly engaging. This should be hard work. Releasing your hands down to the ground. Let's roll up into a bridge using your glutes. Core is engaged. And rolling down again. Again up. Exhale. Release down. Let's add a kegel if you want on the way up. Kegel. Engage. And hold. Two, three, and release down fully release your pelvic floor here and we'll get ready for another one exhale kegel engage roll up and hold for three two one releasing down relaxing at the bottom again Three, two, one, releasing down and fully relaxing your pelvic floor. We'll do one more time. We go for our belly. Let's hold for five this time. Five, four, three, two, one, releasing down. Good. We'll go up into a bridge this time, and you can either pulse here, or if it feels safe for you, engage your lower belly and lift one foot up and down, just tapping the ground, keeping your hips even. Last 
one. We'll place that foot, re-engage, breathing into your ribs here so you can keep your core engaged. Exhale. our bridge and we're going to splay our knees out we'll roll on the outside edge of your foot and squeezing inner thighs in bring our knees in to our chest release through your lower back if it feels good you can bring your knees out wider you can place one foot on the ground let's cross the other over for a figure four stretch grabbing it behind the knee to protect the knee you can also take your hand and press into your knee for a deeper stretch. Good. Engage. Exhale to switch. And stretching out on the other side. breath here good release rolling over on your side let's safely push back up to a seated position we'll do a few more stretches before we finish up we'll bring our legs apart if it helps you can also sit on a pillow or a block let's stretch side to side or however feels good to you Keeping your ribs in here to protect your core and your incision. Last one. Good. Let's cross our legs together. We can do a chest opener here that feels really good, especially if you are breastfeeding here. Remember, again, to keep your ribs in here to protect your core. Let's place our hands behind us, fingertips towards our feet, and then we can stretch up and release. You could also put your feet on the ground to do a reverse tabletop here if this cross-legged position doesn't feel good to you. Let's release down and stretch out our upper back the other way. Deep breath into your ribs and your back. Good, we'll do that stretch one more time. Opening up through the chest while keeping the ribs in. Rounding out the other way. Good, let's come to our knees for a lunge here. If you wanted to roll up the mat underneath your knees, you could also do that. We'll step one foot forward, shifting your weight, tucking your tailbone under for a deep stretch through your hip flexor here. You can stay up high or if it feels good, you could also put your hands on the inside and stretch down.
relaxing through your hips a little bit more. Good, if you're down, coming back up and then pressing into your front foot, shifting your weight back, we'll switch to the other side. Tucking your tailbone, feeling that nice stretch through your hip flexor. breath here good pushing back and carefully bringing your foot back in let's take one last child's pose here stretching out through your back you can also be up on your knees here if that feels good Walking your hands in and finding your way to a comfortable seated position. I'm going to read the postnatal card for the day and the card is, I trust the parenting instincts ingrained within me. If you watched the video all the way through, type trust in the comments to let me know that you joined me. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that that feels good and is a nice way to ease back into exercise after your C-section. I'm gonna add more videos for after C-section as well as postnatal videos every week. If you like videos like these, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and to support me, share this with another mom friend or mom community that you think would enjoy it. I also have lots of free resources for moms that I will put in the description box below. A monthly workout plan where you get a new workout for every day of the month. A complete guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis or die gap after my pregnancy, as well as a weight loss course that I put together as a registered dietitian and bariatric educator. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna link to the first post C-section video there and I'll link to the whole postpartum playlist so you can save it and come back to it whenever you like. Thank you so much again for joining me. You did amazing and I hope to see you in the next video.